Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Judd Coon Chevrolet again, and um, this is an awesome vehicle. 2015 Chevy Suburban, four-wheel drive, half-ton, and it's an LTZ trim package. And this one's all black with sh shiny wheels, and um, it's just stunning vehicle. So here in the front, we've got the projector headlights, and um, and you have fog lights as well. You also have your front uh, parking sensors here across the front. And just the sleek styling. I mean, it's it's a simple but very impressive styling of this. You know, just the overall looks. All right, and if you got the privacy glass here in the back, that's pretty dark. And uh, it is a proximity key, so um, it does have remote start and all that good stuff. Now, um, I'm just going to open up this side just to kind of show you that it has a power folding uh, step. So basically, when they open up the door, the step comes out. When you close the door, the step goes in back inside after a second. So, uh, pretty neat. So, let's start right here. So here's the inside of the front door. Now you notice it's it's simple design and it's just a sleek, awesome styling. It's all black. You've got some white stitching and then you've got some wood grain. Now um, you know it's not doesn't look like appear to be real wood, but it still looks awesome. Plenty of storage options here, your window control, your door lock control, but just overall a very simple and sleek styling door. You do have a the Bose premium sound system and a power seat and lumbar support here on the passenger side it is a black leather with perforated um, perforations here in the leather and it's kind of kind of smooth leather so you can slide you know kind of slide across the seat and get comfortable it's not real sticky and here's some slush mats some big old slush mats that's probably something they added in this vehicle because I'm seeing the Chevrolet slush mats underneath so this just gives you a little bit more coverage do you have the Chevrolet uh, uh, threshold there here on the da the dash here you do have some soft touch pretty much everywhere and this is a little bit harder um, you do see some stitching that goes around and um, you do have the the storage pocket there on the side for papers and stuff glove compartment kind of a mediocre size I guess you can say you do have a handle here it's not a very tall vehicle but you do have a handle to get in Alright, you've got your captain's chairs here in the back. There's the back door. It does have an armrest on the inside, but not the outside. And these are the same quality uh, perforated leather seats here in the back. And um, now I'm noticing these little holes here. I wonder if that's some kind of little accent to the speakers, or if that's. I'm not really sure. Maybe you can let me know what that is. Maybe there's a speaker in there I'm not, I'm not aware of. Or maybe that's some kind of a climate control thing. Now back here, you have your controls for your heated seats. Uh, you also have some temperature controls and some connectivity options. You have SD card, USB, auxiliary inputs, as well as like an RCA jack input there. You got a power supply there. And you have a uh, AC adapter, 115 volt AC adapter. More than likely it's around 150 watts. Down here you got a kind of like a pocket plenty of space here between the seats um, I'm assuming you can put you know cooler or anything you want there you can also kind of get up and walk back there or something when the vehicle is not in motion so let's kind of lift this lever up and lift this up all right that kind of gets out of the way so you can access the third row seating seat here which is very wide it looks like you can you know you can put three kids back here easy do you have a cup holder some pockets over there as well as looks like a charger there and up here I'm seeing uh, DVD screens and go ahead and lower those that lowers down they got a controller there so it probably has some kind of gaming option um, with the DVD controllers 
and you've got one there as well here in the ceiling we've got all kinds of vents very very high quality vehicle you can it really the sleekness of it the simple design the roominess of it just you know screams quality all right so here's the back this one looks like it has a covered uh, towing hitch there or it could be a place for a towing hitch you do have the backup sensors as well as the backup camera here so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this is a power lift gate so I just pushed a button there and it's gonna open up by itself tons of room back here especially considering you can lower down these third row seats and even have more uh, room back here there is a cargo net already installed somebody's already put that there and you have a cargo mat back here as well and um, these are power folding seats to, to the second row so let's just kind of see what this does okay so that lowers that down and I can lower it back pull it back up because I guess it would be kind of hard to reach over there and try to lower it yourself so that's that that's that's pretty neat there but um do you have a power supply back here more cargo space there for your your third row passengers and let's kind of see what's under here net's kind of in the way so let's get it out of the way all right so it looks like some kind of small storage area there and uh, I guess this whole thing might lift up and you can get access all that storage area there but I guess you can put some books or some small flat items apparently all right to lower the lift the uh, the tailgate here uh, there's a button here so I'm gonna push that button and it's gonna come right on down now I'm noticing it's not beeping at me it's not telling me warning me or anything it's just lowering There's the fuel cap. Now it is a flex fuel vehicle. If you don't know what that is, you can check out my video explaining that. There's that cool step. Just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like from this side. Now we do have a, uh, a, a side mirror here, most likely heated. But it's showing a little symbol here, so I'm, I'm kind of assuming that, that that is a blind spot monitoring type uh, symbol there. Maybe a little bit more involved than I'm aware of. So here's the inside of the driver's door. This is where all the all the controls are, and you can you can set your your power seat. You can lock out the uh, the back doors with this. Power windows, side mirror controls, and apparently you can. I think you can, yeah, you can fold in the side mirrors if you wanted to. They both fold in and out. It's got the automatic headlights. You have your four-wheel drive control. And it does have a trailer brake gain. So that's pretty interesting to see on an SUV. Um, usually you would see that on a truck. So you can adjust your trailer. The gain on your, on your trailer there is trailer brakes. You can turn your parking sensors off there. You can also, uh, there's a lane departure warning. There's also a blind spot monitor. You can turn those off. You can adjust your pedals here. Your your pedals down there, your gas and brake. So you got some pretty neat controls there. Windshield wipers. All right, so getting in. Probably one of the most comfortable chairs I've sat in in a vehicle. So, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see here, I'm going to turn it on. I'm right next to the dealership, so I'm just going to turn on the, uh, turn that on so we can look at the screens here. I'm going to put it in run mode. I'm going to start it up. Why not?
<laughs> Alright, so it started up. Let me turn the volume down. Got to turn the volume down. Okay. Uh, I can do that with this knob here. I can also do it with the volume on the back of the steering wheel on this side. But, um, so here's the steering wheel. It's leather wrapped, stitched, and, um, it does have your cruise control on that side, heated steering wheel. Um, this little button here is, uh, has to do with the, like, your distance and the cars in front of you, how, the distance, how far you want to be from the cars while you're in, um, in cruise control. It has, like, a radar system. If it's anything like the... The, uh, the Jeep Cherokees has like a radar system and keeps you at a certain a certain distance while you're in um, in cruise control on the highway. There's your gauges. On this side you got um, arrows here which kind of scrolls through you get your different trip, trips, uh, fuel range, oil life, all that good stuff. Power pressure, fuel economy, uh, timer, um, speed limit, I'm not sure what that is, engine hours, let me go back up there. Shows me on the engine. Now this is a pre-owned vehicle with 12,000 miles on it. Looks like a brand new one. I would have guessed it was new. <laughs> so anyways, let's keep on scrolling. Trailer brake gain. And then it goes back to your speedometer. And here's your, uh, your, your computer system, I guess you can say. Uh, your navigation here, your navigation screen is there, and um, it shows a little suburban there, and you can put in an address and destination and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and push the phone button in case you're, once your phone's paired, you can uh, access your contacts and all that good stuff. And uh, this is your radio, and there's a back button. Let me hit the home button so you can see what all the icons are. You got your Pandora, you even have the weather here. And you can um, go into takes a minute for the weather to load up for some reason but you can go into like a three six day or even a, a weekly um, daily or weekly uh, you know forecast and it shows you even a weather map with little suburban well it's kind of a big suburban oversized but it tells you where you're at here's your um, your volume this is for your radio temperature on both sides you also have um, you know your rear climate controls there your heated and ventilated seats are here for the front now uh, this lifts up and you've got a power supply here you also have two usbs and a little pocket this opens up cup holders you got a um, wood grain there armrest has a little place to put a cell phone this opens up and you've got a pocket and then here's your connect connectivity here for your SD card USB and auxiliary inputs and it's pretty cool it's got like a okay I see what that is it's like a file folder type thing that's pretty neat um, I incorrectly thought that was a pen holder and the in another vehicle but anyway it's like a file folder thing I guess that way you can grab it and pull it out and you have all your stuff in there all right up here you got your on star button SOS voice recognition tap lights uh, this one does have a sunroof so you can adjust your sunroof here and um, and you can also up here we've got the uh, a dial here for opening up your tailgate and you can turn it up a, uh, a maximum or a three-quarter all the way away the reason for that is because if you're in your garage and your ceiling isn't that tall you don't want your tailgate to touch the ceiling or hit some lights or mess it up so you can put it up at three quarters height and still access the back. All right, so we can also turn that off too. Here's put sun, here's a place to put some sunglasses. Now, if you lift it up and drop it down like that, it turns into a conversation mirror, so you can see. Keep an eye on everybody back there. But yeah, you can open up the the sunroof using these buttons here, and. Um, but yeah, really, really nice vehicle. Super good screen. Um, it's a little small, smaller than you know. I would, I would, I would kind of prefer it slightly bigger. But I mean, you know, it's very easy to read. It's out of the way. It's not too distracting. So I mean, there's there's some good reasons to have it um, that size. So let's see what it looks like back here.
just everything about this vehicle is just it's smooth lines simple um, large comfortable soft to the touch uh, well this isn't very soft but a lot of the soft to the touch here where you'd actually um, you know touch it and um, just overall the the the, the all-black with the blacked out wheels and I mean the blacked out um, windows and um, the shiny wheels just stunning vehicle now um, I'm gonna pop the hood and just kind of see what's under there because I'm kind of curious to see what's under there to power this big thing I'm gonna save some gas in the meantime turn it off so let's find this here open it up Now I want to show you while we're out here in some more light. Here's the key. The key is very, just has like a very good quality feel to it. And it's dished out here in the center to where you can kind of tell where the buttons are. But it's a very good, very solid feeling key. Alright, so let's open up this hood. Alright, so it is spring assisted. And then you've got a VA engine. I'll put all the specs in the uh, in the description because um, I don't want to say stuff off the top of my head and get it wrong and then you think it's right and all that stuff. So I'm going to put it, copy and paste it in the description so you can know what the the engine, transmission, all that good stuff is. All right. If you have any questions, I'll uh, be glad to help you find out the answers and just leave them in the comments if you have any clarifications corrections um, anything to say leave it in the comments and uh, if you can share these videos with your friends like subscribe i'd really appreciate it see you next time